All right, so time is up for us to have another conversation. This time around, we are going to talk about comedy, comedy, comedy. This man here needs no introduction because he has paid his dues in the comedy industry. But sometimes I see him on TV. I see him here and there. I ask myself, the money he's enjoying from MTN as a TV broadcaster and all. How is he doing? His name is Foster Romanus. You can remove everything for the last A-N-U-S. As to how you pronounce it, it is your business. But my name is Sammy Flex Production, obviously being done by Richie Flex and the digital Rasta currency. Bro! Sammy. Now you are an ambassador for how many um, brands? I have not been signed as an ambassador. Mm -hmm. I am only um, a, a client they work with, probably because they like my work. So I've had very i mean consistent relationships with them but i've not been officially signed as a, any brand ambassador for you. oh i sure because the kind of commercials i see you in uh, you don't come across as just an actor i see you playing in fact the vital roles in marketing the branch yes. uh here and i'm talking about mtn and maybe other ones yeah so that's what i'm saying maybe uh for instance we have this concept we, we think you can fit well in that character or in that role so then they put me there we talk about the the contractual details if it goes well then yeah i get to and um, i think there's been some consistency because of the returns and then the response it, it comes with yeah are you the only comedian or maybe the first comedian to have enjoyed this offer yes for for for, for, for the long term i think so i'm I, I would say i'm the first yeah mm -hmm. yeah but calibos actually was signed to for ETL, yeah. I, know, I know that so yes for that i think yeah but for that you know consistent working relationships i would say yeah but it's funny face a comedian uh no not funny face sorry calibos yes. calibos you mentioned yeah calibos is a comedian i mean comedy has different sets so there's stand-up comedy there is uh, there is there is kids or what the, yes kids let me put in that there is slapstick there is satire so yeah he is a comedian in that regard we are stand-up comedians he is a or you can say a comic actor mm -hmm. yeah okay maybe that was what i was looking for yeah. uh, rather to describe him as a comic actor yeah. than a comedian because i know some of these people mm -hmm. comedy comedian is a general name mm -hmm. and then they say it's just like having a doctor by his uh, Kid doctor, he's a teeth doctor, so he's a dentist, you know, like that. So yeah, as a comedian, but he's a comic actor. He's a mm -hmm. comedian. He's a stand-up comedian, or he's a satirist. He's a, a puppet, you know, those those, those ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. See, he understands his profession and his industry. So get education from him, and that'll be all. I, I still see you on TV doing this and that. How about that? Have you put down a comedy thing? No, I haven't. I'm a TV presenter. I host the Late Night Celebrity Show on ETV Ghana. And then I also do Sunday mornings on YFM. It's called Light It Up. Yes, on YFM. So I do radio, I do TV as well. Comedy, I do comedy, but that's only when I'm being contracted to perform at a show at an event or at my personal event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have still the comedy space. So when was the last time you got a contract to perform on a comedy platform? Um, comedy, comedy, comedy. This whole year, no, I've not been on any stage. I think Laugh Line by Lexi. Yeah, that was like in September. I think that's the only stage I was on. Wow. I'm not even... what, what, what does it mean that Foster is losing his team or something? That's why he's not getting the collapse? No, not that. You know that that whole thing. I saw the intimate in Tiawo, not a boy or crown on the idea, those ones. And then sometimes the call comes, but the timing wasn't really good for me. Because um, this year, I would say I did more corporate gigs than um, the, the stage comedy. Yeah. So probably by the time they call me up that weekend, maybe another program. So then I, I like I can't I can't make it. Yeah. But what, what does it mean if, for instance, um, you are still playing your trade as a comedian, and maybe the whole year you've not been you've not been given collapse? What does it mean to your career? Does it still shine? It means that we don't have many uh, platforms. I think throughout the year uh, you can talk about Easter comedy show, mm -hmm. and then Night of Loves. They are the two major comedy shows mm -hmm. that that actually came up. 
and then Laugh Line by uh, Castle Entertainment, Lexi's team. Those were like the only stand-up comedy shows I can recollect. I stand to be corrected, but for the ones I know, I think it was only Easter comedy that was hosted by Obi and Ponsan, and then upcoming um, Night of Laughs. So it's not like there were many other shows that I wasn't called on, but it was only just the two. Um, I, I don't think it was just the two, because on, on, on radio, I would not be able to name them two, because on radio, I've interviewed so many comedians who have come to promote their works. Uh -huh. that, is, that is the initiative of the comedians, you understand? So let's say if Obi Amponsa is doing, Obi Amponsa did his special, um, Laugh Line did Laugh Line, there was a Comedy Express, these are like initiatives within our, amongst ourselves and they were not on the main stages i'm talking about the main stages you know like in quote unquote if you're showing the national theater it is not really giving that attention it needs so i'm talking about the um the, the those platforms national theater but for the others i mean um it's either have a wedding here have a show here have a corporate here so there are some I'm not on the bill, I even go there and I get to perform as well, yeah. Now, the fact that everyone is doing their show, is it good or bad? Under normal circumstances, it's supposed to be good because that's how we can spread our wings to, you know, build our foundations. Mm -hmm. But the problem is the, the limitation here is the number of comedians we have because it's a handful, you get to see almost the same faces every time. And that's where the challenge is a bit. In comedy, there's something we call uh, open mics. So even outside, these big guys go to the open mic to test their materials. You need a platform to test your material. You don't just say, I got this joke, it should fly. There are some that will fly automatically, but there are some you need to really work at it. So today you come, you try it, uh, the audience reaction wasn't that good. It means I have to go back to the drawing board. These are platforms to help you write your script well, but we don't have some here. So it, it makes it difficult. So the understanding is not really there. So when they hear the show, they think that, okay, when I come, you have to kill it. If you don't kill it, you, you are, uh -huh. but those platforms help you to write your act, okay, didn't. Um, so, so yeah. let me put this differently. Are you telling us that some platforms are just preparatory platforms, exactly, just to go and test how strong or how firm your punch is? Exactly, that's how it is. Mm. But then and and you mean those are players. the platforms that are not at the national theater? Is that what no? You those platforms are not national theater. You can't go and test your material because it's like your <laughs> your UEFA champion. Ukuna <laughs> <You walk out. laughs> So and and you know one thing in comedy is you are rated by your last performance. Mm. So if you're on such a platform and you don't live up to your expectation, you should know that it will drop your rating. Mm. But that is why you need the, the bar shows, the, you know, the not too official shows, just to try one or two on, on the people and see. So that when you have the big crowd, you know that, okay, wait for what's coming. And that is why they complain that they are repeating their jokes. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. So when I come to a space of about 100 and I try this material mm -hmm. and, and it works and I go home to develop it, are you saying because of the 100 people here, I should actually uh, starve the 1,400 or 1,500 people there who've not heard anything? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. The only problem is that we have some sect of the 100 present there. Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh, he said it at this place. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean so it means that he has gone to better the material he came to you know yeah. exactly mm. that is the problem so that is the education we need to get give the people to understand how comedy works because you just can't stand up and say i have a joke mm -hmm. you have to really write the joke how are you going to deliver the punchline why are you going to pause why are you going to put suspense how are you going to act it out all these things come to play when you are delivering a joke. Mm -hmm. That is how come someone will say, send your ear and send your ear and send your send your ear and All these things come together to, and it adds up to your delivery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Foster Romanos is our special guest today on Summerflex TV. That is the real talk. Enough education going down. But then the idea of repeating jokes, repeating jokes. How do you guys handle that? Because I know it has been said to you guys time and again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How are you guys handling that? We, we, we just try to explain to the people 
and then i mean we take it as a one of those things i mean you can't have it hundred percent you understand so some don't understand it when you explain to them they're like oh okay it makes sense others too they just want to be controversial because if i say a joke in accra and i'm going to kumasi you mean it is allowed to say the same Kumasi thing? Kumasi meaning joke. No, but remember, because of um, cameras, because of digital space, yes. now whatever you do in Accra, it is shared for the world. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Now, remember that how I will say the joke in Accra, though it has the same storyline, will not be the same as how I will say it in Kumasi. You get it. So every environment has its way of delivery. So I said a joke about, let's say, girlfriends or girls. Okay, how I would say the thing in Accra will be different from how I say it in Kumas because Accra girl and Kumas girl, there are some similarities. You know, they are not the same, 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 though they are girls. Accra girl and how she'll behave, a Kumas girl and how she behaves. So all these things come in when I'm delivering it. So it will suit my mark, my audience in Kumas such that they can relate with the Kumasi environment and all. So it is not like is ruled out. If you like go, all the big names you might have heard in comedy, go and see when they started. You see that the jokes they said when they started are in their specials or in another delivery here and there. Charlie, I built it from the scratch with my own sweat. So why is it my bed where I can't let the people know that I was the same person who said this thing? Yeah. See. Foster Romanus. Now, there is another aspect you might not know about Foster Romanus, the fact that he sings very beautifully, uh, started um, singing songs from Samini, and now he's writing his own songs. Um, when he is invited to perform, I don't know whether he's given that distinct role to play. Foster, come and sing. Then he comes as Foster the comedian. How do you differentiate the two when you are called for a gig? Well, I don't, I don't, do, I don't single them out unless the program doesn't call for it. So if I'm called to MC a corporate gig and it's a straight jacket corporate show, mm -hmm. I do straight jacket. I just go next up then I chip in one liner or two. Mm -hmm. If it is an entertainment show and it will call for music, mm -hmm. I call for it, I put it in, I add it up to spice it. If it calls for comedy, I will give you comedy. If it calls for all the three, I'll give you all the three. So when you call Foster Romanos, you're not just calling an MC. You're calling an MC, you're calling a comedian who can double as a musician as well. And mm -hmm. yeah, I think all the plays I've gone and done that has been beautiful. It's been, it's been awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I've had some one or two accusations that whilst people were expecting you to do comedy, you rather came singing. Yes, I mean, I can't have everybody liking what I did. But then that's what, what I did was to present myself as Romanus. So when you call Romanus, this is what you have. Comedy, music. Romanus has never been on stage without music. It's never happened before. And everyone who's followed Romanus knows that there's no way Romanus will come on stage without a song or two. He will definitely come with a song. A B granny jokes and crowd will be songs in there and obviously end with a song. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's nothing new. So I mean there are some who don't like it. I respect their opinions, but this is me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I just give the people what I have. That's that's all. But have there been occasions that you have been over invited to come and do music solely? No. I, I only have like two songs. Yeah, she done your hits. So I feel I'm a bit building on the music career. So I've not really, except for churches, when I go to minister in worship, then that one they are like, oh, we don't want you to to do comedy. Just come and lead us in worship. So I go and I do worship ministration. Apart from that, every other place I've gone is strictly for emceeing as a comedian. And then I add the music as a. Yeah. So you mean Foster has been getting invitations for church worship? Yeah, I do church ministrations. I, as what? I, I, as a worship minister. I have a, I have a worship medley on my YouTube channel. You can check it out. Hey. Yeah, live worship. I think I'm the only sinner left in this world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. You can check it on my YouTube page. Is there? That churches invite Foster Romanos. Yeah. To minister, not just to come and do comedy or to MC. I go hold the mic and I lead the church in worship. Okay. 
let's end it there. Uh, maybe what I have to do is to invite him to my church, Calvary Temple Ministry, for him to try something. Yes. But then we've also seen him on some one or two theater productions. And uh, how about that? How are you faring in that area as well? So that is one of the places I concentrated much this year. This year I did many stage plays, and so hence the whole not being able to do comedy. Because what I did this year was to try every angle of my, of my talent. I can act, I can sing, I can do comedy. So I can't just stay with only comedy when I have these other talents. So why don't I spread it up and see how it looks like? So it means if I'm coming up to it, how do, what I need to do. To, so this year, that's what I did. I did, I recorded a song, shot the video, recorded another song, I'm yet to shoot a video, maybe I'll put it into next year. So at this stage, so I did like about four or five plays this year. Yeah, so that is what I did. Oh, that's what I, I did this year. That was part of my... So you did more pro productions? More, more stage plays, yeah. I see. All right, uh, for Star Romanus. Now, let, let's move to the other aspect of this gentleman. Um, that is the comedy thing. I believe he has been giving us the Romanus Incomplete. Yes. This year, it is coming up. But before we go into that, not long ago, some of your people were invited to perform in Nigeria. Yes. And um, what does it mean to our industry, getting such invitations on that, on that platform? It's huge. It's very huge, and it, it, it makes it makes a statement that GH comedians have what it takes to actually, you know, um, hold the flag of Ghana high in terms of comedy. Gone were the days when the news where there were no comedians in Ghana, and then it came to Ghanaian comedians are not funny, and blah blah blah. And here we are with Ghanaian comedians who were not funny now rocking the same stage with all these big guys we used to watch from afar or we used to watch um, during the night of laughs. It, it tells that we are doing something good. Mm -hmm. And uh, kudos to Obi and Ponsa, kudos to Juarez, kudos to Lexi, kudos to Chemical. I think, yeah, they were... They were Jacinta. And Jacinta, thank you. Mm -hmm. So it, to me, I'm very happy as a comedian that uh, now it's not going to just be, oh, it's only him. If it's not him, then we don't want any other person. Yeah, so when you have, when, when you have, uh, the more you have, mm -hmm. the, the more you take also, the less you have, like mm -hmm. something, something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah, and yeah, the, at the top, when you're all at the top enjoying, imagine we've all gone for a show and this person came with an escalade with uh, this, with uh, that. You know, actually we are spending the weekend here or there is this big show, we are all on it. It's so nice when you see the Nigerians backstage on the Night of Laughs platform. It's so nice. They come, oh, what are you doing? And they jive. They are done. Pa, Obi in the car, they say, no, they should be same here. Mm -hmm. So with that, now Obi and Posa is like the current sensation in Jewish comedy. Yeah. Jacinta as well, because of this Nigeria mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it only speaks well for us. And then we pray that more of such things or more of such programs come so that, you know, they get to see the other good talent we have in common. We're still going to give you the fine details of uh, Romanus Incomplete for this year, but then um, some comedians had this notion that Chatterhouse was a problem for mm. the standard growth of our comedy industry um, some years back. <laughs> 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 but I, I, I don't know whether you also know this and how you guys are solving that equation. Well, it's been, there's been that controversy, but I believe that Chatterhouse, in a way, can't be blamed. Why am I saying that? Um, they are businessmen. So if, let's say, I'm doing a show and it's, it's aimed at making profit and I want people to come for the show, of course, I'm going to put people who can sell. Yes. So the, the whole not putting Ghanaian comedians on where was that, oh, you guys in Dumo, so I, we don't think you can, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. these crowds, you understand, and then you, you have a few of the people also you have a few of the people also coming to say, I'm home yesterday, nah, this, I saw him here, I saw him that, you know, that's the thing, maybe, like, let's say there's a comedy express, and I, I had a bad day there, mm -hmm. right, like I told you, 
you are marked by your last show. So maybe on that night I had a bad day. On my back next week in Bambeho and the next month in Bambeho and in Nagrin, the other corner, oh, he had a bad day. And having bad days is part of our career. Even footballers have bad days. But it doesn't make them less footballers. So probably because you experienced me on that stage and I wasn't really up to your your level, that is why you concluded that I wasn't funny. So there was that, you know, banter that I didn't move fire into some of but we are here. And probably also thought, say, we were not ready. But I mean, when they felt we were ready, Ghanaians have been on it, but I've hosted it for over seven times, back to back. Obi and Ponsa has been there, DKB, Jacinta, Lexi, this is like the third time also he's on. Obi and Ponsa, this will be like his third time. Jacinta, I think this is her like second or so. So when they realize that now we've gotten what it takes, we are like, this year is four against four. Four Kenyan, Kenyan comedians, comedians and four Nigerians. Nigerians. Yeah, so there was a time the Ghanaians were even more than the Nigerians. Mm -hmm. So it, it tells that once the thing, once they feel it's it's up to them because it's their show. Once they feel that you're okay and you're ready, we'll put you on. What I think we should do as Ghanaian comedians is also create our platform where we we'll know that okay, uh, this is for us. This one is us, us. So you are not bringing any foreigner or anything. This is our show we are having here. Hence, man is incomplete. Mm. I see. So you think at that time the cry from comedians was not necessary? Oh, not that it wasn't necessary. I mean, they also thought that, or we also believed in ourselves that we could. Send there is our word against them. Must see into me. You see a bit me. Moon try and she, and I must say moon change. And you also see a change a change. And the more my me, when I'm on my opportunity, and then when the time came and they gave us the opportunity, we proved to them that yeah, you're yeah, ready. So and yes, it wasn't necessary. Um, it was done right. It was done because we also wanted our voices to be heard. Yeah. So now that you guys are playing four against four. From where I sit, I see it's scary in the sense that um, we give you equal platform for here, for there. If you're able to conquer you, then it means that perception, that notion, we cannot hold it either strongly or we cannot kill it. Is that not scary? It's not scary. I think that what, what is happening now is that it, it, it tells that Ghanaians have worked, GH comedians have worked one. Uh, number two, it is not a competition. It's a comedy show. It's mm -hmm. a best. At the end of the day, there'll be the one who the ever do say oh, he was the best for the night. I know the whole day I have a cast for and I wake us and my favorite me. I know just a one so favorite me. And the other day there's variety, hence the four four. And so they can't say say oh my beauty. Because no one is marking. Mm -hmm. huh. The only thing is that the Nigerians are experienced because they started before us. I can never stand on any platform and say I'm more funnier than Basket Mouth. He's a senior colleague, a quarrel senior colleague. Uh, okay, um, no, yes, senior colleague, Bovi, senior colleague, um, what's the name, Berlusconi. Um, I call him Berlusconi, Gordon's mm -hmm. senior colleague. So there is no way I can on any day say that I'm going to rock shoulders and I'll beat them. No, 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 no. My, it's even, it's even like uh, glory that I'm sharing a stage with these legends. So I'm coming in there because, oh, Charlie, I'm happy to be on the same stage with you as an honor. It tells me that I'm doing something right and then it motivates me to do more. So it's- We wish you well, 4-4. Four, four. Uh, we are so happy that it is not three against four or four against three. Uh, it is 4-4. Four, four. So let's see how best you guys can uh, defend your title. But then you guys are performing. It, it, almost every weekend, there is one comedy show happening here or there. And it is Foster Romanus inviting Lexi, OB, um, Augustine, Dennis, and goes on like that. Same way we're going to do Romanus incomplete. You're also going to invite same people. Are you paying yourselves? Are you paying? Yes, not like paying, paying, paying. I mean, we can't pay, pay, pay. <laughs> <laughs> Not like pay, pay, pay. pay, pay. We can't pay, pay, pay. pay, pay, pay. <laughs> like, I mean, how much Obi and Ponsa will charge a charter house? Me, I can't pay Obi and Ponsa. But then, the little to appreciate Obi and Ponsa for gracing my platform, yes, I would. But not like I'm paying you, 
your um, sell your worth ten thousand, you make your ten thousand if there is the means. So, so like you, the last time you also called to support Lifeline. How much were you paid to support for 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 Lifeline? Yeah. Lifeline called Mama. Hey. Oh, man, baby, oh, man, baby. Like how much? So, you going to give him same or bigger? It it depends on how the returns are, and um, so the agreement is oh we go sort out. But and yes, I say, me ma say, me ma say no. But at the end of the day, there is appreciation, even not even your fuel, your costume, and all here. So between us, there is that agreement. So in the same view, also here me, I just come, and then there is that agreement. Yes. Now what what uh, what edition are we doing for this year for Romano Singh? This is the second edition. Oh, this is the second. Yeah, yeah. I think I was at the National Theatre for the first edition and it was really a blast i can't wait to be part of the second one but what are the details when uh, fees and all that yeah, so it's on the 23rd of december that's monday and uh, it's at 7 p.m as usual you know our time there we there mm -hmm. last year we're on time seven was seven uh, to be the same as for only 60 cities single 100 cities double that's a flat rate mm -hmm. and uh, who else is coming to support so, for a token all right uh, pro bono <laughs> <laughs> The, the, my this year is no pro bono, um, so I have so I have two teams. Uh, those I do the stage performance with. That's the Nyan support team. General Entity and his people. Clemento Suarez. Um, what is his name? Doctor So Dilong Daniel Fredamogi Willie Chambers, another funny guy. So they will, they will do the stage bit. Oh, oh, so there will be three in one yeah, kind of. Yeah. There will be the stage bit and the stand up. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, like I said, I'm presenting who Romanus is. Mm -hmm. Romanus is a stage actor, mm -hmm. he's a stand up comedian and a musician. Wow. Exactly. So, we'll do the stage with them, with their support team, and then we'll do the stand up comedy. Obi and Ponsa, Jacinta, Nino is on there, and then Ojo Sami, MJ the comedian, also taking the uh, the stand-up comedy with myself again doing stand-up comedy and then in music I went all the way to Jamaica dancehall comedian you know so I have one dancehall comedian from Jamaica it was actually a surprise but I don't know why I'm saying it oh is it Benetton yeah is it Benetton no I, I hear there is a Benetton being town no so this that this one there I can't say the name but just know that there's going to be a dancehall comedian from Jamaica straight up dancehall musician or comedian when I'm a dancer, <laughs> <laughs> dancer artist oh, okay. from Jamaica will be on the day. Are you are you serious about this? I'm very serious. I am very serious. I'm not. A dance serious. hall artist is coming dance for Romanus Incomplete this yeah. year. You don't know. Twenty third December, December, National Theatre, National and sixty Ghana cities and hundred Ghana yes. cities. And another surprise artist from Ghana. All right, so if you can do that wild guess, you can go ahead to do that. But me, I'm seeing um, some people. Uh, <laughs> I'm seeing people, but I'll keep the names until after 23rd December when we start doing the reviews here on this same platform. Then you know what I'm talking about. Thank you so much, Thank Romanus. You. And I think he is doing well for himself. Uh, Romanus Incomplete. This year, we are going to be well, there with our cameras. Him, the kitchen experience. The kitchen experience. Yeah, kitchen experience. Oh, that's why I heard you ordering some um, eggs. Yeah. You wanted one crate. 30 crates, actually. Oh, 30 crates. Yeah. Hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, when he came here, I heard him moderate. Oh, mommy, 30 crates. Uh, eh? The kitchen. Why the kitchen? What's happening? So, Romano's incomplete. Is, uh, last year, I did a lounge experience, but I didn't really emphasize on the lounge. So, I don't know if you saw the set. You saw some chairs there. So, it was like Romano's calling friends to his lounge to, you know, relax and have fun. It was a hectic year. So, this year, it's still in my house. But I'm giving you a kitchen experience. So I'm taking you to my kitchen. It's like a restaurant and a kitchen put together. So the kitchen. And then the setup is a kitchen. Mm -hmm. I perform in the kitchen. We use every prop in the kitchen, the kitchen jokes, what happens in the kitchen, you know, and all that and all that and all that. You know, like one of the reasons why I love the kitchen is not only does it give us food to eat, but it also gives us food. <laughs> <laughs> the other food don't mention it leave the other food for the adults but for the children don't bother to know so it means that you use 
a whole 12 months to prepare for Roman is incomplete every year. Yeah, I try, I try to make it, you know, unique as, as much as possible. Next year might be a different theme. Maybe it could be kitchen experience too, depending on how this one will go. Yeah, so we try to, because the thing is, it can't be the same as everyone is doing. Yeah. So we try to make it. Uh, unique and different. Thank you so much for Star Romanus. We are going to be there. But then, where can we get our tickets? Oh, yes. So you can buy your ticket at the National Theatre or at the Silverbed Cinemas, Accra Mall. Or you can buy via mobile money, star 447 star 332 hash. Star 447 hash 332 uh, hash. But star 447 star 332 hash. Or you can call 0243 808806. Uh, that, that number again. 0243 808806. Ladies, you can also call that number. You call it. You get a nice experience. Call that number. <laughs> My name is Sammy Flex. He is Foster River. It's 23rd December, National Theatre. We'll be there. Big ups to you, Digital Rasta, a.k.a. Currency and Richie Flex. They are the producers and directors of the show. It has been the Real Talk here on Sammy Flex TV. Thanks for watching.